Welcome to Agenda Edina, a news program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. Efforts are underway to raise money for a special sculpture at Braemar Arena. City Council member Ann Swenson is leading the charge to raise $12,000 to acquire Slapshot, a 300-pound steel sculpture of a hockey player crafted by Minnesota native Judd Nelson. You might have seen the sculpture on display on the Edina Promenade in 2013 as part of the annual public art rotation. This is the first time that we've ever used a funding program to buy sculpture. This gives an opportunity for every family to be able to have a part of that. So GoFundMe is helping us do this and Slapshot is our chosen sculpture. So for $25, 400 families can give and all be a have a piece of slap shot. Swenson hopes to raise the funds in time for Braemar Arena's 50th anniversary later this year. Any money raised beyond what is needed for slap shot will be used to commission a complimentary sculpture of a figure skater also to be featured at the arena. To donate, visit gofundme.com slash edina mn. If a developer expresses interest in building in the commercial area near Wooddale Avenue and Valley View Road, the city now has a tool to better evaluate those plans. Earlier this month, the city council approved the Wooddale Valley View Small Area Plan. A small area plan is really a supplement to our comprehensive plan. and It's a deeper dive um, into topics such as uh, land use and community design, transportation, and in the case of Wooddale Valley View, uh, also economic vitality. Work began last June on the small area plan when the residents and business owners in the 11-acre space were first asked what they would like the neighborhood to look like in 10 to 20 years. The Wooddale Valley View Small Area Plan encompasses specifics on various aspects, including how to maintain economic vitality during a transition, land use and community design roles, and then transportation and street design. It's the resident input that is the most important thing. That there, um, without that, it wouldn't be a small area plan. We can get consultants' opinions on a lot of things without resident input, but the value wouldn't be there for the process that we just used. The Wooddale Valley View Small Area Plan is now being evaluated by the Metropolitan Council. Upon approval, the city will have one year to bring its zoning ordinance into conformance. Several businesses in the 50th and France District are taking part in a new program, changing the way they take out the trash. Edina 16's Matt Koskinen brings you along a recent tour of the facilities with Congressman Keith Ellison. What happens when someone doesn't clean their plate at a restaurant in downtown Edina? In the past, the waste ended up in the landfill. Now, much of that organic material is recycled. We wanted to do something with organics and something that's more environmentally friendly and not fill up the landfills as much for a long time. But really, cost was really the big prohibitor. With guidance from the city's Energy and Environment Commission, the 50th and France Business and Professional Association was introduced to the Hennepin County Business Recycling Grant Program. So because of that grant, we were able to get four of the biggest restaurants at 50th and France to participate and um, do organic recycling for the past year. Cochina del Barrio, Edina Cinema, Edina Grill, and Salut Bar American represent the first participants and results look promising. Nearly half of what had been bagged as garbage is now being used for compost. We do composting, we recycle, and then we have trash. So every area in our restaurant has three different containers. Um, we compost anything and everything we can. We've switched all of our to-go containers, all of our straws for drinks, cocktail straws to the items that are compostable. Uh, the picks for food for temperatures are now bamboo, so they're compostable and they're eco-friendly products so they grow easily and so we're trying to do what we can to save the planet. It's one of our parasole points of difference. Now we're down to three Slim Jims when we had 12. But introducing that to the staff has, has really garnered some interest um, not only in where what we're doing and, and what the final product is and how we're helping the environment but also uh, something that they can do at home in, in their time as well. So it's been it's been pretty beneficial to everyone. Congressman Keith Ellison supports the program and wants to see more sustainability efforts nationally. You know, this community came together around their desire and their commitment to reduce waste. Uh, and they have some awesome businesses here that serve great meals and show great movies. 
but they also wanted to reduce the waste that they generate. I love how it's coming full circle that we're using the compost now to put in our flower beds. From Edina's downtown, I'm Matt Koskinen, Edina 16. In 2014, the 50th in France Business and Professional Association received a $10,000 grant from Hennepin County to set up the program by purchasing containers, signage, and training. Thanks for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.